Time to make sense of this mansion Rose's text referred to. I believe she meant Bertarelli Hall. Ring any bells? Should it? The Pandora will let us know either way. I've left a photo out especially. Focus on it and let's see what happens. Do you like the new safe house? Cozy little place, isn't it? Perfect for the task. I'm sure our mutual friend would approve. Anyway, make yourself at home, begin your preparations. If you need anything, you let me know personally and I will take care of it. You have three weeks and no excuses. Don't disappoint me. Eric, is that you? Fuck, my head is killing me. I was out with Rose. I tell you, that girl is one fucking surprise after another. Who would have thunk a girl like that would know how to party? She's pretty messed up though, man. You know all that stuff we were joking about before? Yeah. Yeah, that. I'm serious. Where the fuck are you, Jasper? Eric just called and says he hasn't heard from you since yesterday. If I find out you're on another bender the day before the job, so help me, God. Do you have any idea how important tomorrow is? I need you on your A-game, Jasper. So if Eric tells me they found you sucking on a hash pipe again, I will chop your balls off with a pair of rusty fucking hedge clippers. Call me. Intriguing, Mr. Black. It seems you do have some memory of this place. Which means what, exactly? I wouldn't want to speculate at this point. I'm sure the implications will become clear. So, what am I looking for here? Rose? Jasper? Perhaps even both? Let's just see what we can find out, shall we? Sending their inside man. But I never knew he was. Oh, good Lord. How you doing, sweetheart? I'm Jasper, and I'm very pleased to meet you. You can cut the flattery, Mr. Prado. I know who you are. Our employer has filled me in. Filled you in, lucky bastard. I'm sorry. Nothing. Nothing. I get it. You're a professional type. I, I suppose you want to see the setup. Cross the eyes, dot the T's. All that shit. Yes, Mr. Prado. Please, show me round. Their first meeting. 
That's a start. Get as much information as you can, Mr. Black. Be meticulous. Understood. Interesting. Your current location matches coordinates from which FDG servers were remotely accessed. There should be an open terminal nearby. This could give you the information we're looking for.
Partial security ID. Fingerprints identified. Rose Atkins. Okay. So we contact Randy. We say, give us the memory gizmo or your girl gets it. That's it. That's it. What if he says no? He won't. You said he don't much care for his family. What if he just... He won't. Shit. I'm still missing some data. Neutralize. Well, the less I know about that, the better, I suppose. As long as it doesn't change anything. I'd better be able to trust you, Atkins.
Fingerprint found. One matching profile. Thomas Hill. Fingerprints identified. Jasper Prado. No, no. Listen, just hear me out. Our employer has given me very specific orders not to let you near any explosives. For fuck's sake, well, you guys have got to trust me. I know my way around the fucking bar. Not what I heard, Mr. Prado. <sighs> fuck you. Fuck the lot of you. So on edge, you're like a fucking razor. That doesn't even make sense. Fuck you. Why is this so important to you anyway? I'm invested, that's all. Ah, you've been promised something. That's none of your business.
Security ID complete. Rose Atkins login now available. I pick the best man for the job. In and out, so we know that it's done. Then once we've got her, we just sit tight until the payment arrives. I'm not so sure if it will be that simple. He's paranoid. There's multiple alarm systems, CCTV. Listen, darling, it's a kidnap, not rocket surgery. To be honest, I've lost count of how many snatches I've done. All you need to worry your pretty little head about is that the info you've given us is legit. You get me? I assure you my info is legit, Mr. Prado. It's what you're going to do with it that worries me. Grace, uh, I'm only home for another few days now, so let's arrange something soon. Oh, and uh, make sure you check out that link I sent you. You'll love it. Anyway, um, call me back. Bye. Are you okay? 
W where's Grace? Where were you? At work, you know that. Where's Grace? You weren't at work. I called you at work. I called you on your mobile. I even called Rose. Nobody answered. Lenore, where is she? Where's Grace? Lenore! She's gone, Robert! She's gone! she is, I'll find her. I promise. You did this, didn't you? What? How could you even say that? Your obsessions, Robert. With work, with your technology, with Rose. It's all led us here. With Rose? Lenore, I have don't. no... Don't. Just... Don't. Hello? Sorry to call you here, Rob. You weren't answering your mobile. I can't talk right now. I'll speak to you later. Is everything okay? She's gone. Who's gone? Lenore? I have to go. Understand now. That girl, Grace. That was the girl from the explosion. The girl with the bomb was Grace Ramsey. Yes, Mr. Black. The girl you failed to save. And you knew. You put me through all of this to find information that you could have just told me. Or was that not part of my fucking treatment? Mr. Black, I couldn't tell you. I needed you to remember. I needed you to understand who she was. I needed you to say her name. I'm sorry. Sorry, Mr. Black. For Grace. She was taken, kidnapped, held to ransom for Ramsey's memory tech. Your memory tech. It's you, isn't it? You're Robert Ramsey. Yes. I'm Robert Ramsey. And Grace. My Grace was abducted for a ransom demand I never received. Oh, I don't know what to say, Robert. I'm just so, so... Save your pity. Save your emotions. I do not need them. All I need to know is who Rose and Jasper were working for. Who was behind it, Mr. Black? I don't know. But isn't it obvious? If I had to make a guess... Then I... you would be making assumptions. We deal with facts here, Mr. Black. Hard evidence. Empirical data. I have my suspicions, yes, but we have come too far to throw it all away on guesswork. We must continue with your treatment. Treatment? There never was any treatment, there was there? I'm not here through choice, am I? Although your memory is damaged, I see your intuition is not. No, Mr. Black, this is not a hospital, but a prison. And unless you proceed, you will find me to be a less than hospitable warden. I am your lock. I am your key. I can be your enemy or I can be your salvation, but I will have my answers. Now, proceed.
need to do this time. Search the memory for Rosa Atkins. Find out who her employer was. Find out why she would turn on me after I gave her everything. Okay. And then we will find out your involvement, Mr. Black. We still need to know why you were there. Where is this? I don't know this place. Ah, yes. Holmwood Cemetery. I'm afraid I do. And if the Pandora has brought you here, then you do too. And how do you know this place? It's next to the company building. It allowed Rose and I to have a certain privacy. Looks like we met here too. So where is she? Confirmed. Rose Atkins. Rose? Black, listen. I know you're angry, but the wheels are in motion, and there's nothing either of us can do to stop them. I can't have anyone standing in my way, especially not you. I I'm starting to remember. I was looking for Grace. I think Rose had her. I was trying to stop her. I didn't want it to be this way, but you're now a liability. Security! Make it painless. Goodbye, Black. I'm sorry. You ever worry about the police crashing the party? Cops? Mick, half of them are on the boss's payroll, innit? And the other half? And the other half know better. Enjoying this gunplay, Mr. Black? The constant reset? You must focus.
Why not? It wouldn't feel right. Shooting in a cemetery. Who cares, man? Job's a job. I care. Well, maybe you should move into a... Suspicious movement near the tombstone. This doesn't make any sense. Rose wouldn't have access to this many men. An anxious mind is likely to produce more troubled environments inside the Pandora. You're not worried about anything, are you, Black? Yeah. I'm worried about getting shot. It's not real, Mr. Black. Just perceived threat that your mind is heightening inside the Pandora. Fuck. Could be fingerprints.
What on earth? This place again. Red. This is good. This is your mind connecting the dots. These are fragments, but memories nonetheless. Do proceed.
What's this? This isn't my memory. No, Mr. Black, this is one of mine. You need to focus and regain control of your environment. Focus on what? I can't remember what happened. Just focus on Rose. The Pandora will do the rest. Listen, Rob. Yeah? When all this is over, why don't we do what we always said? Go away. Leave it all behind. Jesus. Rose, can you not see what's going on here? Just hold off until I've done the audit on Black. He's already been signed over to me, and... Rob, don't do the audit. I'm begging you not to do the audit. Please. For me. Why? Because I love you. There are things you shouldn't know. Things nobody should know. If you dig too deep, I'm worried. Rose. I'll be fine. We'll be fine. You're going too far, Mr. Black. Focus. This is your way out. Use it. My way out? This elevator? Ah, another one of these things.
How old is that is? Listen, there's been a complication. We've had to neutralize Black. Howard. It won't change a thing. Jasper and I will see this through and you'll still get the power. Well, it seems you have no choice but to trust. you were involved, but I didn't imagine that you would confess your guilt quite so readily. Involved? Involved how? Did you really think I wouldn't notice a memory being so heavily distorted? What are you hiding from me, Black? What kind of games are you playing? I'm just exploring these memories like you asked. Nothing more. If only that were true, everything would be so much less complicated. I don't know what you're talking about. You've got to believe me. Ah, but I don't, Mr. Black. Not anymore. But Rose did mention a name. Howard. I'm assuming Roger Howard, the man you stole the corner gun from. Did you meet with him? I... Don't worry, Mr. Black. The Pandora will find the truth. I'm telling you, that's what happened. I promise. So, Rose Atkins is dead. Why is that, Mr. Black? You just saw, because I pushed her. Same question. And why was that, Mr. Black? It's obvious. You were watching. I was trying to save Grace. Rose was trying to stop me, so I killed her. You saw. I saw nothing of the kind, Mr. Black. I only saw distortion, fragmentation, allusions to a truth that I believe neither of us witnessed. If there was any distortion, it's from this piece of shit tin can I'm wearing. I'm telling you, I was trying to save Grace. Words, Mr. Black. You have been less than cooperative throughout this process. There is one question you haven't considered. How did you know that Grace had been taken when I hadn't even received the ransom demand? It doesn't matter. I tried to stop it. By killing Rose Atkins, Mr. Black. I'm afraid that that does matter. It matters a great deal. She said the name Howard. That's who I stole the corner gun from. It was revenge. Must have been. She said it was all his idea. Which confirms my suspicions as to motive. Understand, Mr. Black. The fact that Howard is mixed up in this at all is the only reason you are alive. Now, for the final time, proceed.
you do. You see yourself as above everyone in here. Just another inmate, stuck in the past, stuck in here, stuck in a rut. But then, you always were. It's why we're here. It's why we're all fucking here. Should I say, White Rabbit? Ah, you're so very late. But welcome to the party. The entertainment is about to begin. Entertainment? Yes! Yes! The puppet show for the puppet master! Can't you see? Everyone's playing their part. <laughs> playing dead! Ooh. What are these? I just don't fucking know anymore. Don't know? Enjoy! It's all for you! It always was! People are puppets, and puppets are people! Take a drink! Join us! <gasps> a loving cup! A loving cup! <laughs> I'm gonna 
fucking kill you with a pop! Puppet Master! Puppet Man! Puppet Man! Puppet Master! Puppet Man! Puppet Master! as though the user of the Pandora may skew certain details if they make a conscious effort to reject the technology. Perceived resistance, order of events, conversations, even environments may all be distorted or even hidden. It's problematic, but the savant should be able to debug any inconsistencies in the review phase. Every so often I get reminded that I really don't understand exactly what I've created here. It seems as though the human brain cannot occupy any simulated environment alone. In much the same way we're unable to sleep without dreaming, it seems the brain populates these areas somehow, typically, with other humans. The nature of the populace seems to be directly related to the user's state of mind regarding the environment itself. Something to monitor. Every so often I get reminded that I'd really...
This is senseless. You are close, Mr. Black. Just a little further. Present here, Mr. Black. Time for answers. You know the protocol by now. Let us see exactly what secrets you are hiding. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not hiding anything. We have a name. Howard. He's the enemy. If only it were that simple, Mr. Black. Everything when you stole the corner gun from me. It would make sense he'd want revenge. The only question is why would you have any memory of meeting him? The only memory I have of Roger Howard is the night I stole the corner gun. We'll see, Mr. Black. We'll see.
You surprise me, Black. Maybe you can be subtle when it suits you. Fuck. I'll never get used to how all this works. How are you? Mr. Black. Been a while. Last time we saw each other would have been... Let me see. When I stole the corner gun. Ah, yes. When you stole my corner gun for Robert Ramsey. Really, I should just have killed you on the spot. I'd feel so much better about everything. Then why don't you? You're so exquisite. So flawless in the way you ruined me in my company. I wanted to even the playing field a little. Do something similar to Ramsey. And I racked my brains and I just couldn't think of who would be the best man for the job. Then it occurred to me. Me? I'm Ramsey's head of security. Why would I work for you? Every man has his price, Black. Especially you. I'm paid well. Yes, but not as well as you'd like to be. Not as well as it could be. It's not about the money. <laughs> that old chestnut. Okay, fine. Then how about this? According to my sources, Ramsey has a surprisingly accurate record of your criminal history, far more so than the police. Seems to me he's got you over a bit of a barrel. Work for him or go to prison. The way I see it, Mr. Black. You're his bitch. You sound jealous. I envy no man, Black. If someone has something I want, I take it for myself. So here's my offer, and I'll only make it once. You work for me, not Ramsey. I devise a plan to get Ramsey's Pandora device, and you carry it out. You name your price within reason, and if you're successful, I'll forget about the whole corner gun fiasco, and we'll both be on our merry way. How does that sound? If I refuse... You're alive because you're useful, Black. Don't get any ideas. No. Excuse me. I said no. I'm not sure I've been clear enough here, Black. Oh, you've been clear. But I refuse your offer, Howard. I'll not work for you. I'll never work for you. I'll not carry on this little plan of yours. I don't agree to any of it. I refuse. So much time, so much energy, figuring out who was to blame, yet you never stopped to consider yourself. <laughs> what the fuck? Ramsey! What's going on? I'm... how to put it? Closing the asylum. How are you doing this? 
What is this place? Oh, this place again. What's it all about this time? I'm afraid I haven't been quite straight with you, Black. My apologies. Right. Once and for all, what the fuck is going on, Ramsay? Where am I now? My memories, Mr. Black. Interacting with someone wearing the Pandora can sometimes create what I call synaptic bleed. Two-way traffic, if you will. <laughs> A flaw in the technology. And the asylum? Oh, forgive me. The asylum was necessary. Son of a bitch. That whole thing was just some big illusion. Simulation would be the correct term. The construct was of my own design, intended to keep your adrenaline at the optimum level for the technology to function efficiently. And the inmates? Patients are yours? The patients were nothing to do with me. I just provided the simulation. But the mind has a wonderful way of filling in the gaps. I show you a creepy old asylum, your mind populates it with lunatics. Likely just half-remembered characters from your life. Sometimes even films and books. Predictable, perhaps, but not unexpected. So you tricked me. This whole thing was a lie. Do you want to talk about lies, Mr. Black? Whose lies and tricks would you rather discuss? Mine or yours? I don't know what you mean. You know exactly what I mean. This is Grace's room. You remember her, Black? The girl you tried to save. My daughter. Of course! Then why were you there? You were my employee, Black. My head of security. You knew my daughter had been taken and you said nothing. I don't remember! I don't believe you. What about Lenore, my wife? What about her, Black? I don't know what you want me to say! She left me, Black. She blamed all this on me, and it wasn't my fault. I refuse to accept responsibility for the actions of some terrorist. Tell me what you know! All I know of her is what I've seen here, in your memories. I'm sorry, I can't help you. What about this man, Black? You remember him? I remember you, Ramsay. And I am sorry for what you've been through. But I tried to help. I just didn't get there soon enough. Please, let me go. Is that what you want, Black? To be let go? Of course. We had a deal. Let you go. Happy to, of course. But let me ask you this. Are there any circumstances under which you would not wish to be let go? What the fuck are you talking about? Welcome to my office, Mr. Black. Have a look around. I'm sure you'll be able to make sense of everything.
What the fuck? This is me. More of your scare tactics, Ramsey. But it won't fucking work. Not anymore. You say you don't remember anything else? That you've told me everything? Then I don't need you anymore. You don't need me? If only you'd been a little more cooperative, things might have been different. Goodbye, Mr. Ray. Ray. Stay out for the memories. Robert! Don't do this! I'm sorry! I'm sorry for everything! Wake me up! Please! Just wake me up! Audit phase complete. Cerebral link, patient number black 001. Pandora unit terminal disconnect. Would you like to commence archive data review, Dr. Ramsey? Uh, yes. Switch to Savant unit playback. Begin the review. Oh, and Hope, could you also fire up the coffee machine? Doctor, prior to review, my medical recommendation would be the implementation of a minimum four-hour rest period. Further caffeine intake will only delay fatigue, not arrest it. Then make it a double shot. Three sugars. I also need a baseline memory to carry out the review. Which was the most stable from those recorded? That would be... this. Cached on initial Pandora system startup of Patient Black 001. Good. Then let us explore a complete memory before we review the broken. Proceed with interactive playback.
sequencing data review imminently. Decoding memory cache and Savant playback. Binary filters online. Servers currently running at optimal speed. Inputting biorhythmic feedback parameters. Deep insulin injection in three, two, one. You are ready to go, Dr. Ramsey. Stay away from me. Stay away. It's okay. I'm a friend. To my dad sent you. Okay, I'm in. Commencing review. Now, where is... You heard from Jasper yet? Not yet. Keep you posted. Parameters stable, Dr. Ramsey. You are free to continue with the review. Script active, Dr. Ramsey. Good. Okay, let's follow the trail. See what really happened. Save the girl. This is where they held her. Oh, Christ. I... Careful, Dr. Ramsey. Control. You know, Hope, this is really quite satisfying. Doctor, might I remind you to control your emotional engagement while conducting the review? Any spikes in serotonin, dopamine, or adrenaline levels could... I know, I know. Cause distortion. Noted. Thank you, Hope. Seems to be a lot of resistance here, Hope. I wonder, was this a result of Black trying to hide something? Or from the Pandora itself? Yes, Dr. Ramsey. Black perceived threat here, which has bled across from the audit. Nothing I can do. Makes it more difficult. I'm not trained like Black was. 
No matter. God. My poor child. Help me. I will fix all this. I promise. Emotional spike detected. Help me. Caution advised, Dr. Ramsey. I will get to the bottom of this, and whoever is responsible will pay. to the Pandora playback. I'm trying to pinpoint precisely where or when you are. I'm afraid your emotional state has caused a minor malfunction in playback. You are outside the code, Doctor. I would recommend caution. The data is unstable, fragmented. You must remain calm or you risk... Don't tell me the risks, Hope. Just get me out. Now, let's see where we are. This is one of my memories. Jesus, Father. I can't believe you brought them here. What are you thinking? Rose, this is an FDG facility. My facility. Staffed by the best doctors money can buy. There is no better care. I'm not talking about that. You don't need doctors, Rob. You need... You need a fucking mortician. Oh, God, this is such a mess. Rose, just breathe. I need you together. I need you with me on this. Oh, no. This is that memory. Doctor, your vitals are reading as erratic. You must calm down or you risk full mental fracture. Too late. Hope, get me out of here. I'm trying, Doctor. Just a little longer. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where am I? Oh. Doctor, try oh. reconstructing the memory. Look for and interact with any memory imprints. It will allow me to pinpoint and remove you. I'm trying, Hope. I really am. Just seeing this again is difficult for me. Yeah. 
What's happened to this poor fellow, then? Blast injury? Some fragmentation. But we also suspect gastrointestinal injuries, too. Hmm. Nasty. should stimulate your recall, lad. It's Grace. My Grace, playing the violin. You used to hear it in my office. Remember, Black. What did you do? Data indicates that you are making progress. Thank you, Hope. I thought as much. It feels like the Savant and I are beginning to synchronize, finally. Looks like this one's being transferred. He's not particularly stable. Are you sure that's wise? This comes right from the top. But to transfer him to a private medical facility. That's unorthodox. Who is he? Looks like I can proceed now. I need to get out of the loop. You're ready as you can be, Mr. Black. We'll be moving you tomorrow, okay? Just where is he being transferred, exactly? All we've been told is he'll be picked up in a private ambulance tomorrow morning. What about the girl? Oh, there's nothing we can do, I'm afraid. That poor, poor girl. I did everything I could. There was nothing more I could... Everything's in place for the transfer. We're just waiting on the ambulance. This all seems a little drastic, Robert. Are you sure this is the best decision? He'll be safe in my care. 
I need to get to the bottom of what happened. I think what you need is sleep. Especially after Grace. Do not talk to me about Grace. I won't tell you again. Grace. My poor Grace. One moment, Dr. Ramsey. Your signal is much clearer now. Pulling you out. Do you wish to proceed? Yes, Hope. Apologies. How many problem memories did I bookmark in the audit? Three problem memories were bookmarked. And they're all significantly corrupted? Yes, Dr. Ramsey. We should have sufficient data to make sense of them when reviewed. Let's review in the same order we audited, Hope. Load the first bookmark. Loading. Savant playback. Bookmark 001. The death of Jasper Prado. A warning, Dr. Ramsey. This memory is highly fragmented. Which is precisely why I marked it for review. I want to see what, if anything, Black was hiding. Your notes on the memory are succinct, Doctor. What exactly happened to Prado? Yes. What indeed. Thank you for the reminder. But the question isn't really what happened to Prado. Moreover, how it happened. I would also remind you to work quickly, Dr. Ramsey. I will keep the memory stable for as long as the Savant encryption allows. Black! For God's sake, hurry! I'm trapped! You can stop this! I was here to stop Jasper getting killed. I'm sure. To stop Jasper getting killed. Okay, I'm in. Time to work through, find Jasper, and get a true sense of events. him in? Cole Black. You don't want to mess with that guy, mate. Trust me. Yeah, but has he got clearance? You can ask him if you want, mate. I'm leaving him well alone. Information is locking this memory to proceed. Thank you. 
Zek, hurry. I'm trapped. You can stop this. Jasper, you brought this on yourself. I warned you so many times. I've got too much to lose here. Black, for fuck's sake, listen to me. Curiouser and curiouser, Mr. Black. Just keep him there. Don't worry, I just need to talk to him, that's all. Whatever you do, don't listen to him. He can be one slippery bastard. Oh, so it looks like you did see Prado before he died. I wonder... Jasper's unfortunate demise. Hope, how stable is the memory? Holding up, Doctor, but move quickly. Ramsey, I'm detecting extreme resistance ahead. Proceed with caution. Yes. Black's memories are trying to block themselves. What did you see, Mr. Black? Wrong. Please. Where's Jasper? Just up ahead. I heard him shouting. Please. What's going on? They took him. And I don't know on whose order. I tried to stop it. That's why they threw me in here. And you said you'd done nothing wrong. You're lucky to be alive, pal. Please. Don't leave me here.
Okay, let's reconstruct this mess. Hope, do we have sufficient data? Yes, Dr. Ramsey. Run simulation. I always liked you, Jasper. Listen to me. Just put the gun down, okay? You do this, and everything changes. Just put the gun down! What's happened now, Hope? Memory corrupted, Dr. Ramsey. A byproduct of the reconstruction. Is the memory fighting to protect itself? Possibly. Or the result of exploring an amnesic memory. This is untested ground, Doctor. Neutralize the threat, and I can pull you out. I was I... here to stop Jasper getting killed, I'm sure. Black! told me he was there to save Jasper. 
Hope, was this memory deliberately corrupted? Insufficient data to draw a reliable conclusion, Dr. Ramsey. Huh. Killed him. And all we have to go on is that Jasper wasn't doing as he was told, and that he crossed a line. Make a note of that, Hope. Note recorded. Okay. Let's load up the second bookmark. Loading, but please note, this is the most corrupted of the bookmarked memories. Geography of certain details may be fragmented. Black also perceived threat here, which will bleed across from the audit. You may need to engage in combat again, Dr. Ramsey. Caution advised. Understood. This was the Holmwood Cemetery memory, correct? Correct. Black, listen. I know you're angry. I know you're angry. But the wheels are in motion. But the wheels are in motion. I didn't want it to be this way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I remember now. I killed her. I'm in. Let me take a moment to orientate myself. Proceed with caution, Doctor. I am picking up heavy resistance, embedded within the playback code. Then let's find a weapon.
abnormal detail detected. They should be noticeable in your environment. Once you approach, I will extrapolate and play back any data I have access to. Thank you, Hope. Prado, it's Black. Listen, mate, you need to fucking stop this right now. I told you the situation was delicate. I told you no improvising. Call me back. me all the way out here to ask. Hey, you chose the meeting place, Morticia. Oh, Jesus, Black, I don't understand. I mean, yes, of course I'm tired of the way things are with Robert. Living in his shadow, both at work and... Well, but it won't be like this forever. I believe that. You've worked for him long enough. You know what Robert's like. Yeah, yeah, I do. That's why I asked. Just think about it. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. open black. Please, take a seat. Hmm. Geography seems broken on this one. All right, Atkins. Now what the fuck is going on? Black, listen. I know you're angry, but the wheels are in motion and there's nothing either of us can do to stop them. I can't have anyone standing in my way, especially not you. So you can have me killed now? Is that it? I didn't want it to be this way, but you're now a liability. 
Security, make it painless. Oh, for fuck's sake, Atkins. Goodbye, Black. I'm sorry. I will not fucking calm down. Tell me what's going on. Tell me why I wasn't informed, or heads will fucking roll. For a moment. I can't talk on this phone. Meet me at Holmwood Cemetery. I'm heading there now. We are getting close, Dr. Ramsey. The memory data is cached and decoding. This memory was blocked deeper than the previous. Is this because we had readings from conflicting synaptic layers? Negative, Doctor. It seems the block came from a conscious effort on the subject part to hide specific details. Of course. Thank you, Hope. Let's proceed.
people are talking. You gotta stop these run-ins with Lenore. You do not want people pointing fingers. Oh, come on, Black. She waltzes in here, and any time she sees me, she loses it. What am I supposed to do? I work here. I have to be able to stand up for myself. I know. But no matter what's going on with you and Ramsey, she's still the big man's wife. Calm it down. At least for the foreseeable. Only bad things will come of it if you don't. Is that a threat? No, Atkins. It's just some friendly advice. Doctor, all memory recordings of Rose Atkins have been accessed and reviewed. Would you like me to prepare a simulation for you to explore? Just give me a second, Hope. Okay. Let's find out just how involved she was. We all stood to benefit from this. We all agreed. And we all will benefit. The original plan was there for a reason. Relax, Black. Just as good at what he does. You don't give him enough credit. I told you to keep an eye on him. I told you to manage this. It's better this way, Black, don't you see? Ramsey doesn't care about Lenore. He cares about me. It's far more effective to get the girl, and it's the same outcome either way. No, not the same outcome, Atkins. The plan was to break him, not provoke him. Born in a game you didn't even know was being played. Grace? I couldn't have been any clearer. Get Lenore on side. Bring her in peacefully. No one gets hurt, I said. And do not let that idiot Jasper near any form of explosive. He doesn't know what he's doing. He seems to know a lot about bombs to me. You don't know bombs, Atkins, and you don't know him. But I know both, and I can tell you this with absolute fucking certainty. He has put the lives of anyone near that bomb in danger, his own men included. That bomb goes off, we're all fucked. Are you able to detect Grace's presence in this memory? Negative, Doctor. What on earth is happening here? Have you got the girl? We brought her in, yeah. And the ransom demand? Not yet. We'll send it in the morning. And it's not too late. Don't get any ideas. You can't do anything to stop this black, so don't even try. Listen very carefully. You're going to tell me where he's keeping her, or I'm going to kill you. Do you understand? Don't be ridiculous. Tell me, or I kill you. The one glimmer of hope in all this, my saviour. He wasn't even trying to save me. He was trying to save himself. So. Hope. Is it possible that... Is what possible, Doctor? Never mind.
dare you? You didn't do this for your family. You did it for yourself. You want to know the role your family, your mother, played in all this? An excuse. An excuse for just another one of your obsessions. Another playback malfunction, Dr. Ramsey. Recommend abandoning review until emotional stability returns. I am perfectly stable. Just bring me back out. I left this behind for you, you know. Setting up my own studio, taking on commissions. I left it all behind to be your wife. And for what? <sighs> Shit. We were an inconvenience to you, Grace and I. It's not just that you neglected us. It's that you didn't even want us there in the first place. Having difficulty locating you, Dr. Ramsey, you may have to find your own way out. No, I honestly don't. I don't know what any of this was about, but if it was all about Rose, go and be with Rose. If it was all about your precious Pandora, go and be with your work. Do whatever you want. But I won't be part of it. Not anymore. You're right. I don't care about the implications of your work, Robert. I've never cared. And changing the world means nothing to me if I can't have my family. to realise that you were never going to have the decency to leave me. You know what I've come to understand? For all your genius and passion, for all your talk of changing the world, you're a coward. You're just a coward. Abandoning review. 
Emotional stability is required in order to proceed safely. Let's load up the third bookmark, can we hope? Did you hear me, Dr. Ramsey? I said I recommend abandoning... I heard you! I heard you. Please, just load the third bookmark. Yes, Doctor. Loading. Please note, as with the second bookmark, memory geography is likely to be fragmented, and combat is a strong possibility. Th thank you, Hope. This is Black's meeting with Howard, correct? Confirmed. You tagged this memory with reference to both Black and Howard, Dr. Ramsey. Final piece of the puzzle, it seems. I envy no man, Black. If someone has something I want, I take it for myself. I'm going to see him now. You still on board? Oh, I don't know for sure, no. But I've got a pretty good idea. Yeah, well, if that's the case, it's been a pleasure knowing you. I don't know, call it instinct. Speak later. Hmm. Memory glitches becoming more well, and more I frequent. Say my greatest strength is probably my determination because I'll work harder than anyone else. If something needs doing, I will do whatever it takes to get it done. Damn you, Rose. Damn you to hell. This could all have been avoided if I just listened to Lenore. I was black. Alive for now. Yeah, maybe some other time, right? Listen, I might have some work to throw you away if you're interested. Pays good. Situation is delicate, though, you understand? 
You're not going to be allowed to improvise on this one. Eh? Sure. I'll call you more details if he's a goer. Not again. This has to stop. But I got you a present. It's a notebook for all your brilliant ideas that will change the world. So you never forget. Oh, Lenore. What have I done? Grace? My dear Grace, I wish I could explain everything to you, to help you understand. Radiation, which is energy that's emitted from an object, right? <laughs> you make a really good teacher, you know that. I will find out who is responsible for this, Grace. Whatever it takes. I promise. Genuine meeting. He's got some plan he thinks you could help out with. Ask me if I thought it was crazy getting you involved. I Do think you. you're a man that can be trusted. I suppose we'll find out. Thanks.
Dr. Ramsey? You've gone completely off grid this time. Are you safe? I'm safe. Just pull me back out. Searching for you now. Concentrate on the memory you wish to return to. Focus on Howard, Dr. Ramsey. See if you can locate him. Remember, Dr. Vanzu, and listen and focus on the memory you wish to explore. I cannot pull you out of this one alone. Focus and find a way back, Dr. Ravi. Howard, Mr. Black. Been a while. Last time we saw each other would have been... Let me see. When I stole the corner gun. Ah, yes. When you stole my corner gun for Robert Ramsey. Really, I should just have killed you on the spot. I'd feel so much better about everything. I've seen this. Why don't you? You were so exquisite. So flawless in the way you ruined me and my company. I wanted to even the playing field a little. Do something similar to Ramsay. And I racked my brains and I just couldn't think of who would be the best man for the job. Then it occurred to me. Me? I'm Ramsay's head of security. Why would I work for you? I don't understand. How can this be the truth? Price, Black. Especially you. I'm paid well. Yes, but not as well as you'd like to be. Not as well as you could be. It's not about the money. <laughs> that old chestnut. Okay, fine. Then how about this? According to my sources, Ramsey has a surprisingly accurate record of your criminal history, far more so than the police. Seems to me he's got you over a bit of a barrel. Work for him or go to prison. The way I see it, Mr. Black. You're his bitch. You sound jealous. I never saw it like that. He was my employee. I envy no man, Black. If someone has something I want, I take it for myself. So here's my offer, and I'll only make it once. You work for me, not Ramsey. I devise a plan to get Ramsey's Pandora device, and you carry it out. You name your price within reason, and if you're successful, I'll forget about the whole corner gun fiasco, and we'll both be on our merry way. How does that sound? If I refuse. You're alive because you're useful, Black. Don't get any ideas. No. This... Never made any sense. Excuse me. I said no. I'm not sure I've been clear enough here, Black. Oh, you've been clear. But I refuse your offer, Howard. I'll not work for you. I'll never work for you. I'll not carry out this little plan of yours. I don't agree to any of it. I refuse. There was more. Clever boy, Black. You've got to believe me. Puppet master! I'm telling you, that's what happened. I promise. I'm not hiding anything. Surprising. And very foolish. However, 
I will allow you to work for me. Go on. I have a plan that I know will work. I have people in mind who I know will help. I don't want your money. I want your manpower and your resources. I'll be in charge and I'll take down Ramsey from the inside. In return, I'll get you Ramsey's Pandora tech. You do exactly as I say or there's no deal. So it was you. I trusted you, Black. I gave you work and paid you well. And this is how you repay me. After all we've been through together. Everything that happened to my family, to Grace, it was all because of you, my own employee. Well, you're not so imposing a figure now, are you, Mr. Black? Nothing but a vegetable in my basement. I could do whatever I want, and there would be nothing you could do about it. Well, fuck you, Black. Fuck you to hell. You were dead when you came in here, and there's no way I can let you go now. You were the architect of my downfall. Perhaps ending you is a mercy I will come to regret. I will find out in time. Goodbye, Cole Black. Doctor, I'm getting some very strange readings. Extreme caution advised. You never focused on what was important! Grace? Grace, is that you? I understand now. I understand everything. I know you're there. I know you're watching. You had it all backwards. I know. My child, I, I know I did. Grace, can you hear me? You had a family that loved you. Can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me! How could you get it so wrong? Grace, shit! Grace, if you can hear me, I'm going to show you some things, okay? I'm going to show you how all this came to be. Your mother was right. This was all my fault and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me help you understand. I get it now. This is all because of you. Grace, please. You let us all down. You put your creation before your family. No, I know. I was a fool. <laughs> Please, give me a chance to explain. I needed a doubt. Let me show you. <laughs> Let me show you. familiar with this man by now, my love. He protected everything I'd worked to build. Did all the dirty work for me. But I made a terrible mistake. I know this will upset you, and I'm sorry. But your mother and I... We just grew apart. Rose understood what I was trying to accomplish with the Pandora in a way that nobody else could. And I did love her. But I never stopped loving you, Grace.
I thought we could finish up a little early today. Go and grab a meal at that new Thai place. Let off a little steam. <laughs> what do you think? If this is going to work out between us, you need to understand that Lenore and Grace will always be part of my life. That's just something you need to accept. <sighs> you either commit to something, or you end up with nothing. I couldn't commit to Rose because I didn't want to abandon my family. And I couldn't commit to my family because I was too consumed by my work. And Rose was right. I ended up with nothing. I can't live like this any longer. With every day that passes, another little bit of me dies. I know you're too blind to see it, but you did this to her. I can't bear the sight of you, and I refuse to be your wife. I couldn't commit to her. Couldn't give her the love she deserved. But I refused to let her go. And as for you, Grace, my darling daughter, I loved you so much. Adult brains, I understand. But this, this is just incessant, incoherent gambling. What on earth is she doing? I just didn't understand what it meant to be a father. All right, you, come here. Although I have no idea what you're saying, and I can say with a reasonable degree of certainty that you have no idea what I'm saying either. I got it wrong, Grace, and I'm sorry. Your mother once said I used you as an excuse to work. I don't know if she was right, but I know I wanted you to be cared for, and I know I wanted you. I wanted you to have a father you could be proud of. I'm sorry. I failed. <gasps> okay, Grace. It's time to finish the session. You've seen everything. Just give me a moment. trying to communicate with me. You said he was dead. He is. All you're seeing is remnants of his consciousness, created by the Pandora reacting to the artificial stimulants flooding his system. It's, it's complicated. I, I need to see what happened to him. S send me back in. Grace, it's not a nice thing for anyone to watch, let alone his daughter. Are you absolutely sure about this? He's my father. I want to know. I need to know. <sighs> oh, God. Howard. Ramsey. Just relax, okay? There's no need for the gun. Dad. <laughs> You did this. You are responsible. Put the gun down. Responsible. Let's have a sensible, grown-up conversation. You approached my staff, my employees, and you turned them against me. I think we both know that's not true. You took. My daughter away from me. I did no such My thing. My family. Son of a bitch. My wife. Robert, you need to sit down. <laughs> Let me get you a drink. No! Responsible. Someone needs to pay for this. You've upset a lot of people, Robert. I'm not the only one with a score to settle. So, you admit it. I admit you stole my invention. You admit it. My life's work. Responsible. Claimed by a thief as his own. You did this. So, yes. Add me to the list of people you royally fucked off over the years, Ramsey. But I accept no responsibility for a mess you created. Dad, Dad, don't do it. Dad, Dad please don't do it. No. no. You did this. 
And I think you already know that's true. Responsible. I didn't. Responsible. It wasn't me. It's okay. It wasn't me. Just give me the gun. And let's put all this behind us. Okay? Responsible. Someone no, 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 needs to pay. No, 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 no. Please, 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 Dad, Dad, put it down, put it down! Dad! Dad, please! simulating my consciousness. I still don't fully understand it even now. But I left it all to you, Grace. I learned from Howard's mistakes. I own the patent, and measures are in place to ensure they can't just replicate it. It needs to be in the hands of someone like you. Someone pure. I love you, my darling. And I'm sorry. Talking to you, Grace. I, I, I'm fine, Mum. I'm, I'm thinking. Grace, listen to me. I've done everything you asked. All we need is for you to sign a few papers, and we can continue where you're. Sweetie, going. you don't have to make this decision now. You're exhausted. Let's just head home, okay? Grace, talk to me. All you need to do is sign, and we'll transfer the money within. You're 20 a piece of work. You know that, Lenore. This is between me and Grace. This isn't anything to How do with you. How fucking dare you! I'm in a room with my crippled daughter, my dead husband, and my dead husband's whore! This is everything to do with me! Lenore, this is business. And from what I heard, your dead husband very nearly left you for that whore. You... Shut up! Shut up, both of you! Mum, I've got this. You put me in this wheelchair. You, you do realize that, don't you? Well, without you, my parents are still together and my father is still alive. Grace, what are you saying? Are you telling me she's responsible for all Grace, this? Grace, I don't know what you saw. You want her to sign those papers? <sighs> you want her to allow you to work with Robert's technology? Then you don't fucking grace her. To you, she is Miss Ramsey, and you don't speak unless you're spoken to first. Am I making myself clear? Yes. Perfectly. Clear. Perfectly clear. Miss Ramsey. How many functional headsets do we have? Fully functional. Only one, Miss Ramsey. Your father's. This one? That's right. No. No! No, Grace! And now you have none. <gasps> do you have any idea what you've just done? This ends today. My father was a misguided man who didn't understand what he was dealing with. And I certainly can't trust you to do the right thing. Going to regret that. No, I won't. Nobody should be obsessing over things they can't change, shutting themselves off from the present. Memories belong in the past, and my father deserves to be dead. You're playing a very dangerous game, Grace. Threats? Oh, how very original of you, Rose. Well, what are you going to do? Kidnap me again? Strap another bomb to me? There is nothing you can threaten me with that's worse than what I've already been through. So fuck the headset, and especially fuck you! Let's go home, Mum. Of course. You haven't heard the last of this, Grace. It's Miss Ramsey, and yeah, I have. No, wait! Come back! Let's discuss this! No! There's nothing more to talk about. Grace! Goodbye, Rose. Goodbye.
Let me see.